Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom. Digital Classroom is made possible by BenQ and Rogue. And today it's all about total control on black and white. So join us for today's episode of Digital Classroom. Hey guys, it's no secret, I absolutely love black and white photography. Now, most of the things that I do is actually in color, but black and white is just amazing. It's it's a mood maker, it just gives you a totally different, well, attitude to your images. Black and white, let me put it just simple, black and white rocks. Now, according to some people, black and white is just lowering your saturation. Yeah, well... <laughs> no, it's not. So when you're in Lightroom, and today we're going to stay in Lightroom, we're not going to use any plugins, we're not going to use anything else than Lightroom itself. So in Lightroom, you have this option here, black and white. Just, just click it. So now we have a black and white image. Now, the black and white image itself doesn't look as appealing to me at the moment, for the very simple reason, when I do a black and white image, I like a little bit more contrast. So let's just add a little bit of contrast here. There we go. Okay, maybe add a little bit to the highlights because with black and white, somehow with colors, I don't like it if my highlights are blown, but with black and white, sometimes it just adds to that mood. I really like that. Okay, so now I want to change the image a little bit. So how do you do it? Well, I'm going to give you some tips today and one which you may or may not have ever heard. So the first thing that a lot of people will do is go to that black and white mixer. Now you have to realize that although you don't see any color, every black and white image still has all the channels there. So when I change the reds, and you can find those mostly in skin of course, you can see that I can change the total look of the image. For example, her lipstick can be totally white or totally black. Now this is by the way an in-between tip if you have a makeup artist that's really professional, tell her you're going to shoot black and white because they really will change the makeup for that. So oranges, let's play a little bit and this is an outside shot, that's why I chose this one. So yellows, for example with the trees, I really like this and in her uh, headpiece, of course the greens. So you can play with this a lot and well it's, it's nice to play with, let's be honest. But let's say that you're a little bit like, hey I like this but is there another option? Yes there is. Now let's go and remember it's always about those colors are still there. So everything today is based on those colors are in that image. Only you see them as black and white, so as channels. Okay, so let's go to curves. Now normally you will see here RGB. Let's just change that to, for example, only red. Now I have a lot of control on where those reds are gonna change and I can actually bring back a little bit of color in that shot as you can see here. So you can play with this and it, it's a pretty cool way to play with it but in essence you're just changing colors and you're adding a little bit of tint back. So you can make some of those old vintage looks and let's just reset that. Okay, there we go. Another one that a lot of people may or may not know about is actually here in your color temperature. Just look at this. Now I like the image as it is but let's say I want to change it just a little bit. By changing your color balance you also have a huge impact on your image. And you can do this, for example, to be a little bit more creative. Instead of just pinpointing one color, you're now actually changing the color balance, giving you total control over how your image will look. And let's say that you like it like this. Now you can always go back, of course, to your channel mixer and just mix it here a little bit more or less. So, as you can see, black and white isn't just taking the saturation out. You have all these colors in your black and white mix, but if you want to do it a little bit more creative and add some color back, you can use your tone curves, like here. And for example, do it with reds away and reds in. So you can make that nice vintage brownish tints if you like that. Or you can even use your white balance for it. So it's a very versatile solution in Lightroom to give a really unique look to your images. And of course you can save it as a preset. Hey guys, if you have any questions, if you like these episodes, just let me know in the comments below. Most of all, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell button, and of course tell other people about it so we can grow our channel. And again, many, many thanks to BenQ and Rogue for supporting Digital Classroom. And I can already tell you, BenQ is doing it for another year. So for another year, 
we can give you digital classroom live streams and digital classroom tips so thank you you rock hey guys that was it for today thank you so very much for watching and see you again next time bye bye